My name is Rachel. I'm a blogger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been blogging for about six years and I'm an English major here at a local all-girls university. I started with web, web design before I started blogging, um, back when I was about 14. Uh, things started changing when I started going to PodCamp, pretty much. Uh, that's when I decided to kind of break off my anonymity and really come out with myself and I was encouraged to do so. And when I met other local people that kind of, you know, fueled the fire a little bit more and um, really kind of brought my blog to the next level. A blog is um, a online weblog. It comes from the word web and log. And uh, it's basically, in my terms, it's kind of like an open diary. I like to make my blog so it's not really rambling about the day's events, but more so I try to focus on something in my life and kind of bring it out a little bit more. Um, I try to include, I try to think of more colorful things. Um, I try to imagine what it would be more interesting for someone else to read. It took me a while. I mean, I was, I was an anonymous blogger for you know, four or five years almost because I was, you know, concerned. But, um, you know, I've met people now and I've the local scene and it just seems, like when, when I first started reading blogs, I thought it was crazy that people would post pictures of their children online. And now I can totally see how um, mothers would be able to, you know, kind of find comfort in that. I think there will always be some concern with the internet just because of how open it is. But, um, as far as privacy goes, I mean, I think I've opened up a lot more and just the fact of going to PodCamp and meeting people has really helped me to kind of feel more secure with technological things in general. There's a, there's a group of, there's a generation I think that's uh, a little older than me who started blogging right around the time when I was still poking around with the internet and um, it really inspired me to, because uh, I'm a reader, I love to read novels. So the fact that uh, these people were posting their lives online in a creative way that still made it reading like a novel, um, I was really intrigued by that and I thought that you know if I wanted to get into that someday that that'd be a easy thing to get into. I don't censor. Um, I censor for my family. I don't censor for my family. I censor for my job um, and I censor for um, myself pretty much. As far as my family goes, um, you know, I'm pretty open with them anyway. Um, I don't think my family is concerned so much. Uh, once they saw uh, an interview I did with uh, a, a local news station, they were kind of comforted by the fact that, oh, this isn't looked badly upon, uh, really kind of exposing yourself online. So. Um, honestly, I mean, uh, to be completely honest, as far as uh, anonymity with blogs, I was worried with about what people would think of me. And so uh, I went to PodCamp and I discovered that there are so many people who are not only putting their lives online, which is what I do, but just creating content and creating um, TV shows, creating radio shows, and that all tied in together. And I realized that you know these, these personalities behind TV shows, behind um, blogs, the authors, um, these you know show creators, these radio show creators, that um, there was common ground. And uh, there were, with TV and with radio, it's kind of um, more common to think of the personalities behind them. And I thought, you know, why not blogging? I mean, there are writers and um, there are novelists and um, they're out there just as much. And if I'm putting my content out, content out there, what makes me any different than someone in old media?